Hello folks. Right now everyone's Saramonic Blink 500 system is shiny and new. The batteries are charging properly and giving the run times that they should. But one day you'll get your wireless system out and find that one or more of the batteries no longer charge or their run time has dropped significantly. With built-in batteries this can be a big bummer. My system is still shiny and new but I decided to chuck my warranty in the bin and take these things apart and see how feasible it would be to replace the batteries myself. Turns out that not only are the transmitter and receiver very simple to disassemble, the batteries are fairly standard and widely available. If you're comfortable with a little bit of basic electronics work and soldering, a failed battery on the Blink 500 system may not be a big deal at all. I decided to go a step further and try a simple mod to make the battery easy to swap, not just when one fails outright, but also in cases where Having a spare on hand could be a real lifesaver. Standard disclaimers apply, this will very likely void your warranty, and there's always risk of damage and such when modifying any electronic device. So do this at your own discretion and don't attempt it if you aren't comfortable and confident that you can do it safely. So let's get these things apart. Now I'm going to start with the transmitter because that's actually the slightly more difficult one because the board is held in by some fairly short wires that go to the uh, inbuilt microphone. And to take it apart, it's just four Phillips screws. They're fairly small, but not super tiny. So, um, you know, it's really fairly simple. And you can take it apart with tools that you probably already have. And then the back comes off. And that's all there is to it. At this point, there's nothing really holding the board in place. Um, the ports kind of protrude through the side here. So you kind of have to tip it to the side and take it out, you know, kind of at a at an angle, but that's it, the board lifts straight out. And now again, like I said, it's going to be connected at the top by these two wires, um, but you can, you know, you have a pretty good range of motion here, so you should have enough room to do what you need to do. The battery itself is just held down with some double-sided tape, so you just need something that you can safely and gently pry that off the board with. The key here is just to kind of go slow and give steady even pressure to release that tape. You don't want to go too fast, but it's just steady even pressure and that adhesive will release and the battery pops free. And there it is, just a small little uh, 300 milliamp hour battery. And here is the replacement that I bought online. I found this for about $6. And you can see it is very nearly identical. And here's the numbers of the two different batteries. And pretty much all of these batteries come with just a standard uh, JST connection. And that's what gave me the idea to make this battery uh, fairly easily swappable. Rather than soldering the new battery to the board like the old one is, I bought some connectors and I'm going to actually install this connector onto the board. And that way uh, batteries can just be you know, plugged and unplugged uh, very easily. And again, rather than trying to solder these leads directly to the board, which I'm sure I could do, but it just feels a little bit more risky, I'm actually instead going to take these terminals out of this connector and solder the terminals onto these wires. Now, you can actually get these connectors, just uh, the bare connectors with bare terminals, and I'm sure that's the way I should have probably done it, knowing that I'm going to do it this way now. But at the time, I wasn't sure exactly how I was going to do it, so I just ordered these packet connectors, and they'll work. Uh, but what I did was I just extracted the terminals from one of the connectors, which is actually fairly easy to do. You just uh, pry up on that very small little white tab, and then the terminals can pull straight out of the connector. And then what I had to do was actually uncrimp <laughs> two of the terminals. And now I have just uh, two bare terminals that I can solder onto these wires. So I'm going to cut this battery off. And when I cut these wires, I'm going to be very careful to cut one at a time so I don't short this battery out, cause any issues there. And I'm going to cut one, tape it off, then cut the next one. And I'm going to leave enough length on the battery that I can put a new connector on the battery. And I'm going to leave enough length on the board that I can easily put the terminals on the board as well. All right, now I've got the wires stripped. I'm going to get my soldering iron heated up and uh, we'll solder the terminals onto those wires. All right, so we'll just get the wires tinned here. Now 
Now these terminals have uh, little ears that clamp around the insulation of the wire. So I'm just going to go ahead and kind of uh, crimp those in place, uh, just enough to kind of hold the terminal where it goes. And then I'm going to put a little dab of solder in there to hold the wire in. All right, one down, one to go. So once again, just uh, squeeze that little clamp around the insulation, and I'm just gonna put a dab of solder on the terminal. And that's it for the soldering. Both the terminals are connected. Now we just have to snap the terminals back into the connector, making sure that we match the polarity of the new battery. And you want to make sure that the wires and terminals are seated all the way in to where they click into place. And then you should be good to go. And then you just want to double check one last time before you plug the battery in that the terminals are on the right side so you don't uh, connect the polarity up backwards. And once it's connected, Stick the new battery in place. Fold the connector down out of the way, and you're good to go. All right. Receiver's powered on. Transmitter powers up. They paired. Good to go. And there you go. We now have a replaced and replaceable battery in the Ceramonic Blink 500 transmitter. And that battery is brand new, not charged, so it's probably low. I'm not going to go through the whole process again on the uh, receiver in the video, but I'm just going to go ahead and pull the receiver apart and show you that uh, it actually should be even easier on this because you can remove the board completely very easily because there's no microphone wires on this one. And that one comes out just like that, very easy. Now the only issue you could run into on this one is that there's just a lot less space up in the top to uh, fit the connector. So you might have to get a little bit more creative with uh, how you run the wires and, and you know kind of where you put the connector. Uh, you could maybe leave yourself some extra room and maybe try and stuff it down here, although there's not a lot of room down here between the posts either. So that could be the one tricky issue with the receiver is just finding a, finding a spot to fit the connector. But either way, uh, at least replacing the battery itself should be pretty easy and uh, you know it's definitely more easy to disassemble and you can get yourself you know all the room you would need to work uh, very easily because the whole thing comes out very nice so there you have it for about twelve dollars in supplies including the battery though not including the tools you'll need um, i was able to not only replace a battery in the ceramonic blink 500 transmitter but even make it potentially uh, easily replaceable in the future or swappable if you know in a couple minutes if I wanted to swap it out for a charged one. And chargers for these little batteries that use this type of connector um, are available all over the internet for you know under ten dollars. So there you go, try it at your own risk, but that's how in about 10 or 15 minutes I was able to swap the battery in my Blink 500. So if you have any questions or anything let me know down below. If there's anything else you'd like to see me do with this system uh, let me know that also. As always thank you for watching. Take care.